allowing the state to review presidential executive orders, and now there could be several more dealing with the federal state relationship. KRK 4's Jay Burr are here to explain. Jay? Yeah, Laura, well, three more bills presented today in the House Judiciary Committee and they actually passed out and they sent a clear message to the federal government that Arkansas does not want any more gun regulations similar to President Joe Biden's executive orders that he issued last week. On Tuesday, the House Judiciary Committee passed out three bills attempting to restrict the federal government's jurisdiction over the state of Arkansas. Owner of Arkansas Armory, Nathan House, supports these measures. Arkansans are tired of people out of New York and people out of California deciding what gun laws should be in the state of Arkansas. Stephanie Lane Baker with the Benton County Moms Demand Action thinks this is just for show. Instead of passing proven public safety measures that would actually reduce the burden of gun violence, it seems like our legislature is just intent on playing politics. He believes in the Second Amendment, but also believes that gun ownership is a privilege and responsibility. And yes, you have the right, but that right does not come without any strings. And if you prove that you are an, an irresponsible citizen, then you are giving up those rights, just like in any other case. House says the state of Arkansas is well within its right as a state to buck back against what he calls government overreach. Whenever we see laws that are at the federal government level that are infringing on other constitutional rights, then the state of Arkansas has the right to decide that, you know what, we're not going to cooperate with that. Baker says these bills, if they become law, will be a waste of time and taxpayer dollars, and the legislature should stop passing measures that fly in the face of the feds. The main point is that our communities are hurting, and these extremists in the Arkansas legislature are not helping. Even if these do become law, House says things will not instantly change, and things like government stamps will still be a thing because of the complexities of the gun industry. And I think people need to have a realistic expectation expectation that that there are still going to be levers that the federal government can pull uh, and have influence in the state of Arkansas. Now, all three of these bills do head to the full House for debate and a vote. Now, if the two Senate bills, Senate Bill 59 and Senate Bill 298, actually pass out, they will head to the governor's desk for action. If House Bill 1386 passes out, it will head over to the Senate Judiciary Committee. Now, we will definitely keep you updated on the progress of all of these things and the potential ramifications should they become law. But for now, live from the state capitol, Jay Burke, KRK 4 News. Jay,